Well, I'm just going to go through uh, preparing some media using our tissue culture kit. Um, the kit pretty much has everything you need to um, culture plants, uh, apart from a few obvious the plastic containers and things like that, um, and the distilled water. Well, so in this here we've got uh, 800 mils of distilled water. Um, it's easily purchased from supermarket. Um, it's not very expensive. So yep, we've got 800 mils and we'll top that up to a thousand mils um, when we finished adding everything else. So in the kit, we uh, supplied sachets of MS salts, um, one sachet per one litre of water. So pour the whole contents in there. Also, we are supply we supply in the kit um, four grams of gel right. Um, this is enough to um, solidify one litre of um, media. So once again, the whole contents in. Um, I've already got them weighed out over here, so get them out of the way, and we'll start. All right, here's our MS salts. There we go. Now, just give it a, give it a mix up. Um, the kit contains a digital scale as well. Um, for measuring, I've already pre-measured everything, so to save us a bit of time. Um, so what we have here is 30 grams of sugar added to the mix. And just mix there to dissolve. One of the important ingredients, well, additives we can use in our media is plant preservative mixture, and we supply within the kit um, a five mil bottle um, I only use about half a mil per liter of media um, if you think you're going to have a problem with um, contamination in your media you could also use a, a mil increase that to a mil I mean um, but at the moment all I'm going to do is add half a mil to our media all these syringes and that are supplied in the kits as well like I said, basically, um, the kit, kit contains everything you need uh, apart from a pressure cooker and the various plastic tubs and bowls. Alright, All right, um, we've added our PPM in there and give it a bit of a stir. So we've got our MS salts, PPM, and sugar in there. Now, before we add the um, gel right. Um, I'm just going to test the pH just to get it up to around five and a half. Um, you don't necessarily have to uh, but I like to get it around there before I add the um, gel right to the media. just seems to mix in a little bit better if the pH is a little bit uh, closer to the mark. Yeah, so. Also in the kit um, we have our pH adjustment solutions, um, pH up and pH down, a little 10 mil bottle of each. Um, this stuff goes a long way. Um, I've had these bottles, been using them for about six months now and they're still half full. Alright, so we tested it. Um, we need to adjust it up a little bit, so we'll go to pH up. And let's just add a couple of drops. There we go. Bring it up closer to the mark. 5.5, 5.6 is what we're after. But at the moment, around 5.4. Which we have done. Um, like I said before, this pH meter is included in the, the um, number one kit as well. Alright, so simply add the gel right. Just giving it a good stir as we add the gel right. Um, this is pretty easy to use, the gel right. Some of the other stuff like agar and some of the seaweed, other seaweed extracts tend to clump up if you don't stir them in properly. And of course, using agar, you have to actually heat the solution um, to get the agar to dissolve at all. Now, saying that gel right doesn't actually dissolve, um, it comes suspended in the solution, but if you leave this solution sitting around for too long, it will settle out, but it's just a simple matter of giving it a quick stir. Um, 
before you dispense it into your containers otherwise um, the last few containers obviously will have more gel rights in them and be a lot solider there we go that's all mixed in I'll just give it a quick test and adjust accordingly Close. All right, so for the final step, all we'll do is simply top up two thousand mils with more distilled water. Oop, a little bit too far, but that doesn't matter. Oop, turn it on. Now at this point um, we can add our PGRs or plant growth regulators depending on what we want. If we're just going to make a basic media that's it done but um, if we require a rooting media or a shoot a multiplication media we'll add one of our PGRs, plant growth regulators. Now these all come in powder form um, in the kit. There's five different types in here. Like I said um, we can mix and match the kits too. So if some of these plant growth regulators aren't what you require, just let us know and we can change them around or um, add more, add take out some. Um, for a rooting um, media, I'd use um, something in the kit like IBA or IAA. Um, I've already got it made in a solution over here, so it's simply a matter of fact, a matter of adding um, a certain amount of um, plant growth regulator. So for instance, if you want to make up a one mil per milliliter solution, you take one milligram of um, the powder and then dissolve it. You know, the kit I already mentioned does contain um, KOH, this is what we use to dissolve our plant growth regulators. Um, most of these plant growth regulators aren't um, soluble in water so you need to dissolve them in a base or an acid. So the kit contains um, six grams of KOH. You simply just add this KOH to 100 mils of water and that's your solution you use to dissolve um, your plant growth regulators. Uh, it does say on the little packet what you need to do but it's pretty simple just simply add the packet to 100 mils of water. There is another video on showing you how to dissolve um, the plant growth regulators as well which you know, shows you step by step but it's pretty simple. Alright so at this point if I wanted to um, make a rooting hormone, I'd simply take out the required amount of IBA that I've already mixed up into solution here. So this is one milligram per milliliter. So if I need one milligram of IBA in that solution, it's just a simple matter of taking one mil of this solution and adding to that. So one milligram of um, IBA or whatever plant growth regulator you're using to one liter. Um, there is instructions on how to do this, but it's like I said, it's pretty straightforward. If you need two milligrams of your regulator in there, once again, two mils of the solution. Yeah, add and stir. Now, when I do this, I normally add a food colouring um, just to identify what um, I've added to the media. So I use red for rooting hormone or blue for multiplication hormones, but it's up to you. Um, and at this point, if you're just making a plain media, um, just leave it clear. That's all I do. Alright, so here's our one litre of media made. Um, if I'm not going to use all this stuff straight up, um, you can simply store it in the fridge. So I can fill up two or three containers and um, pressure cook them and ha store the rest in the fridge if for a couple of days. If you're going to store it long term, you can freeze it. Um, I do quite often. If I um, have a little bit left over, I just stick in the freezer and freeze it and come back to it um, a few weeks later. Um, it keeps quite well in the fridge, but um, for long-term storage, like I said, store it in the freezer. Um, and that's pretty much it. 